Hey guys, this is Mr. Andrew B. 1998 back with you once again. It's time for part three of my first Disney VHS copies I had ever bought in my life. Left off, uh, last left off with the Love Bug. Move on from there. Making my make my music 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS. I know not many uses. It's got a dark stick label. Printing from April 26, 2000. I remember him. Mr. Biggest Disney fan, also known as Joshua Kirk, having this tape. Not sure if he still has this tape or not. Heard he's gotten rid of a couple tapes. He's got the first copy of The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. 1996 VHS. With a vertical stick of a copy. Got two vertical stick of copies, actually. Tape is a vertical sticker label and a print date from February 18th, 1996. Next up is the 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS of Mary Poppins. So I had this tape for an extremely long time. It's got an ink label and a blue lid. It's got a print date from February 20th, 2003, so this tape is obviously a reprint. It's got, the, it's got previews from the 2002. It's got previews from 2002 instead of of 2000. So I would count it as a Walt Disney Home Entertainment title. Next up is Melody Time 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS. Well, I forgot to mention, Make My Music I got at the, the Holland Rescue Mission thrift store back on... on... November 24th, 2012. Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh I got at Africa's Child in Holland, Michigan on August 17th, 2011. We go back to Melody Time. I got this tape at the Goodwill Store in Holland, Michigan back on... on... uh... yeah. January 20th, 2000 and. Well, yeah, this tape's got a dark sticker label with a print date from May 6, 1998. We have my childhood copy of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, The Three Musketeers. Someone's got a dark sticker label. It's taped on. So wait, can you this tape? I rewound it. Label's in bad shape. It says Buzz Lightyear Star Command underneath the label. It has white reels and a black, regular black lid. Print date is June 18th, 2004. Next up is the Canadian VHS copy of Mickey's Magical Christmas snowed in at the House of Mouse. Got a dark sticker label. It doesn't have a print date. Next up, we have the first copy of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas 1999 VHS. I've, which I got to tape at Savers in. Fort Smith, Arkansas, back on December 22nd, 2011. This tape needs to get rewound. Print date's October 8th, 1999. <clears throat> no, Mickey's once, no, once, Mickey's Magical Christmas Note, The House Mouse, I got the, at the, hall. I mean, I got a garage sale, which, unfortunately, I forgot to show this in my Christmas VHS collection. I got it at a garage sale on June 7th, 2013. Next up, Mighty Joe Young, 1999 VHS. Got this tape at Salvation Army Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan, back on January 2nd, 2012. It says Nagy on there. I don't know who Nagy is. It's got a print date from... February 25th, 1999. Next up is the first copy of Monsters, Inc. 2002 VHS. This is, a, this, is one, this is one of the copies that comes in a clamshell. 
It's a blue tape. It's got a print date for... It's got a print date from July 13th, 2002. Mm. See how awesome this is. So take these ads out first. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can't believe they didn't do that for the DVD though. But I'm quite happy to have this tape. That's tape at Potter's House Thrift Store in Fayetteville, Arkansas, back on December 26, 2011. Next is Muppet Christmas Carol 1993 VHS, which I got this tape at the Salvation Army Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan, back on December. I mean January 2nd, 2012. Sorry about the little mix up there. This tape was printed on November 23rd, 1993. Next, we have the first copy of Mulan 1999 Masterpiece Collection VHS. Got this tape at the Goodwill Store in Holland, Michigan back on August 17, 2011. The print date is January 16, 1999. Okay. Next, it's Muppet Classic Theater 1994 VHS, which I got this tape at Savers in... Fort Smith, Arkansas, back on December 26, 2012. Print date for this tape is September 6, 1994. Next is The Muppet Movie. I think it's a 1992 VHS. I got this tape at Saver. Here's in Fort Smith, Arkansas, back on July 5, 2012. Actually, it's a 1993 VHS. Well, the print date says December 11, 1992, even though this is a 1993 VHS. So, the next tape is Muppet Treasure Island, 1996 VHS. Got this tape at a garage sale on July 13, 2012. Got a pretty good ink label. A print date from August 5th, 1996, printed, printed, printed eight days before I was born, but I wasn't, I mean, I mean, printed eight days before my birthday, but I wasn't born in 1996, printed two years after that. Next is the 1999 VHS of My Favorite Martian, which I got to tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan, back on on September 23rd, 2012. Yeah, this tape was printed on July 12th, 1999. Printed eight days after Independence Day. Next VHS is the 1998 VHS of No Deposit, No Return. I got this tape at the at Vintage Stock in Fayetteville, Arkansas back on July 2nd, 2013. Printed March 6, 1998. Next, we have my first copy of Oliver and Company, 1996 Masterpiece Collection VHS. I got this tape at Vintage Stock back on July 4th, 2011. Print date is July 5th, 1996. So this tape was printed day after Independence Day. Next, we have Operation Dumbo Drop, 1996 features. I got this tape on July 17, 2011. This tape was printed on October 25th, 1996. Now this tape comes in a cheap clamshell. Yeah, the, the clamshell. Yeah, the cheap clamshell is in really bad shape. The movie itself should still work. Next, we have The Parent Trap, 1997, Sorcerer Mickey VHS. I got this tape on 
March 24th, I mean, no, November 24th, 2013. Print date is November, I mean, September 5th, 1999. Even though this is a 1997 VHS. I'm guessing this is, an, this is a reprint. Next, we have the Parent Trap 1998 VHS. I used to have a copy of this tape, but that one broke. I got this tape instead, yeah. The, it's got an ink label. Yeah, there's some cracks. But the tape should still work. Print date is November 6, 1998. And the next tape we're going to show is... The 1997 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Pete's Dragon. Well, Parent Trap I got at Salvation Army Thrift Store in Springdale, Arkansas back on on December 27, 2013. This tape I got back on on August 17, 2011 at the Goodwill Store in Holland, Michigan. Print date is June 4, 1997. Printed a day before my mom's birthday. And the next tape we're going to show is the 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS of Peter Pan. I got this tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan back on August 17th, 1998. This was the first VHS copy of Peter Pan that I ever bought in my life. Print date is January 26, 1998. Next. This is my first copy of Peter Pan Return to Neverland 2002 VHS. My Aunt Tara gave this tape to me back on December 24th, 2012. It's got an ink label and a blue lid. And a print date from June 27th, 2002. <laughs> Next, we have the 1985 Black Diamond Classics VHS of Pinocchio. I got this tape at the Salvation Army Thrift Store in in Springdale, Arkansas, back on August 8th, 2013. Yep. There's a little business reply card there. All that came with this tape. It's got a sticker label. It's got a tin lid. There is no print date on this tape. Now, this tape's a Canadian copy. Yeah, this tape also has a Black Cauldron trailer. Some copies don't have Black Cauldron trailers. And those are later pressings that don't have the Black Cauldron trailer. I'm glad I found this and I and saw that it had a Black Cauldron, tra cauldron trailer. We have my first copy of the 1996 VHS of Pocahontas. I didn't show this one in my Easter VHS and DVD collection this year. Print date is January 31st, 1996. I got this tape at a garage sale back on on July 14th, 2011. Next up, we have the new copy of Pocahontas 2: Journey to a New World. Yeah, I had another copy of this tape. That tape has a that copy had a crack on the back. Now I got this copy instead. I'm gonna get rid of that other copy with the crack. Yeah, I got this tape on 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 March 2nd, 2014. Print date is June 30th, 1998. Pretty 10 days after my big brother Caleb's birthday. Next up, we have Pooh's Grand Adventure: The Search for Christopher Robin 1997 VHS. This is the American printing, and a regular American printing. This is not a Canadian printing. It's got a dark sticker label. And a print date from July 7th, 1997. So it was printed three days after Independence Day, which, which is America's birthday. Next we have The Princess Diaries, 2001 VHS. I got this tape back on July 25th, 2014. My dad brought this tape home for me. Well, I've never seen The Princess Diaries before. Yeah, this is a tape with an ink label and a blue lid. A print date from October 30th, 2001. Printed a day before Halloween that year. I have never seen the Princess Diaries before, but I think I'm gonna have to give this tape a watch someday. 
Next we have Recess Christmas Miracle on 3rd Street 2001 VHS. I got this tape at the Goodwill store in Rogers, Arkansas back on August 8th, 2001. Yep. This tape's got a dark sticker label and a print date from October 12th, 2001. Oh, uh, yeah, my hand is cold right now. But that's okay. Next, we have Recess Schools Out 2001 VHS. I got this tape at Savers in Fort Smith, Arkansas, back on July, I mean December 26, 2013. This tape's got a dark sticker label, and a print date from June 27th, 2001. Next, we have the 1999 Masterpiece Collection VHS of The Rescuers, which I got this tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan, back on September 4th, 2012. Now, that day, I didn't have school that day, but the next day, September 5th, 2012, that was my first day of 8th grade. Now, this tape's got a dark sticker label and a print date from February 24th, 1999. Next tape we're going to show is The Rescuers Down Under 1991 Black Diamond Classics VHS. I used to have the 1992 reprint, but that one broke. It broke in my Panasonic VCR. I forgot to make a bad news video about that. This tape's got an ink label and a print date from June 12th, 1991. Yep, I got to tape at a garage sale back on June 13th, 2013. Next, we have the, my first copy of the Return of Jafar 1994 VHS. I used to call this my second copy. Now I'm calling this my first copy. This tape's got an ink label. A print date from April 7th, 1994. Printed six days after April Fool's Day. Next, we have the 1992 Black Diamond Class 6 reprint of, of Disney's Robin Hood. I got this tape on July 17th, 2011. Return to Far I got on June 16th, 2013. This tape was printed January 25th, to the, I mean 1994. I almost said 2004. I almost said that. That's what I almost said. Next, we got... Saludos Amigos 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS. I got this tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan back on on April 9th, 2014. This year. This tape's got a dark sticker label. A print date for a print date from April 28th, 2000. Next, we will show all the Squaws Rock videos. We will show this tape. This is the 2000, I mean, this is the 1997 25th anniversary collection VHS of Squash Rock America Rock. Now, I got this tape off of Amazon.com back in September 2012. Yeah, I used to have a copy of this tape, but that one broke, so I replaced it with this one. It's got those coupons in there that I'm not going to show you. Print date is June 20th, 1997, so printed on the day of my big brother Caleb's first birthday. Mm. Next, we got Squaws Rock Grammar Rock 25th Anniversary Collection 1997 VHS. I got to tape at the Goodwill store in Holland, Michigan back on February 20th, 2012. This tape was printed on July 10th, 1997, so it was printed six days after her Independence Day. Next, we have Squaws Rock Multiplication Rock. Uh, 25th anniversary collection to, in 1997 VHS, which I got to tape at Salvation Army Thrift Store back on on May 27th, 2013. This tape was printed on April 24th, 2001. So this tape's a reprint, but it still got previous from the 1997 VHS. Next up, we have the uh, Glass Rock Science Rock 25th Anniversary Collection 1997 VHS. I got this tape at Salvation Army Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan back on, on July 18th, 
this year. This tape does not have a print date. Sorry that my mom's calling. I gotta go now. See you in the next part. Peace out.